Good morning children. Welcome to my class. Today I am going to discuss about the angles. Our first chapter is dealing about angles. Two lines meeting at a point where an angle is formed. Let us go through some examples. In the first figure, in the first figure, two lines BA and BC are meeting at B, an angle is formed. In the second figure, QP and QR are meeting at Q, an angle is formed in between the lines QP and QR. We are using capital letters to denote angles. Then, what is the name of this first angle? Angle ABC. What is the name of the second angle? Angle PQR. Can you say the name of this angle? The name of the angle is angle OMN. Next, I will tell you some English letters that form an angle. Consider letter V and the letter Z. In letter B, these two lines are meeting at this point and angle is formed. Similarly, in letter, letter Z, two angles are formed. Can you say how many angles are formed in letter B? One angle. How many angles are formed in letter Z? Two angles. Then how many angles are formed in letter E? One angle, two angle, three angles, four angles. Four angles are formed. Next, I will show you how to divide a circle into four equal parts using z square. For that, mark the center, draw a circle using compass. Place the set square in the proper order. Draw these two lines. Remove the set square. Extend these lines. We will get a circle with the four equal parts. These, in between these two lines, an angle is formed. Similarly, the rows of angles are formed. Next, I will show you how to divide a circle with the six equal parts using z square. For that, mark the center, draw a circle. Take the set square, place it in the proper manner, draw these two lines, an 
I'll move the sex pair like this way. Draw the next line. Remove the sex pair. Extend these lines. in between these lines similarly and this are formed here also. Now let us take up one part of each circle. Here angle made at the center is larger than angle made at the center in this figure. So we can conclude angle made at the center is increases as the number of parts decreases. Now I will give homework for you. Take out your notebook and write down these questions. First question is Divide a circle into 8 equal parts using set square. How many angles are formed in letter H? So, thanks for watching this class. Thank you.